hi hi and welcome back to Rue. Let's play Higarashi When They Cry. Now, it's been brought to my attention, you guys, that this is actually a much longer game than I ever knew. I played things blind, so I didn't look into it, so that's my fault. Um, so I have a question that I need to pose for you guys. Do you want me to continue doing this on the weekends like this and maybe go run a little longer, closer to 30, 45 minutes? Or would you prefer me to stop doing this series and do it over stream or something like that so we can cover more content? Uh, it's... There are apparently no choices. This has been told to me. Uh, I had asked a couple people and they said there were some choices, but I think they were getting things mixed up. Like, gameplays mixed up. So, please let me know in the comments below. Okay, guys? Thanks. It was a fun-filled crazy day, but as soon as the sun began to set, the end of the day really did come quickly. Later, Rena and Kei-chan. See you tomorrow. Thanks for today, Mion. I had a great time. See you tomorrow. Satoko and Ika-chan went home as well. We parted ways with Mion, and it ended with just Rena and myself enjoying the evening air on our way home. Thanks for coming today, Keiichi kun. Was it fun? Yeah, lots of fun. Almost feels like a waste to go home now. Ah, uh, then, well, would you mind taking a little detour? M maybe? Maybe? A detour? Is it far? It's a bit of a walk, but it won't take long. Since we had been walking around all day, I, I must have seemed a bit tired. Not feeling like teasing Reyna, I quickly nodded. Great, now I have to pee. Thanks, game. <laughs> God damn, it's a walk. Traversing a small path and up a small hill, the land suddenly stretched out before us. There, what looked like the remains of a dilapidated construction site came into view. Yay! Nothing says romance like digging through trash. <laughs> a large heap of garbage spread out off towards the swamp. Probably illegal dumping. I recall it being in the newspaper. <laughs> it's been quite a while. I wonder what's here. I wonder what's here. When you say it's been a while, you mean the business you had here was with this garbage pile? It's not garbage. To me, it's a pile of treasure. Reyna had already entered that well-known cute mode of hers. So that meant there was something cute here? Oh, a new pile! I can't wait, I can't wait! She bounded up to the unstable slope. I'd expect no less from a born and bred country girl. Hey, wait, I'm coming! Whoa! My city ray self was completely pitiful. It's all right, just stay there, Keiichi-kun. I won't take long. Reina kindly declined my accompaniment. Don't fall. Watch your step. I'm fine, I'm fine. This is nothing at all. Literally bounding up the heap of trash, Reina disappeared over the other side. I didn't like being left behind, but I was still pretty tired from the whole day, so I just ended up waiting. Without the lively Rena around, the surrounding area quickly fell into silence. So what you're saying is, bitch never shuts up, got it. <laughs> the cry of the Higarashi gently cooled the air. I don't, I don't think their sound affects the air temperature. Fairly exhausted, I began to feel a little sleepy. Just then, the sudden noise of scattering pebbles alerted me to someone's presence. Startled, I turned around. Standing there was a typical looking photographer. He spied over at me through his camera. His body was tanned and fit. But something about him seemed unreliable, and he had a bit of an aloof air about him. Damn! That snap judgment right there! Well, it didn't seem like he was a bad guy in any case. Whoa! You surprised me. Although startled when I turned around, he overplayed his reaction. That was my line. I'm the one who surprised here. 
<laughs> my bad, my bad. I didn't mean to startle you. Are you from Hinamizawa? I gathered that he wasn't from that question. Unfazed by my suspicious look, he introduced himself without my prompting. I'm Tomitake, freelance photographer. I come to Hinamizawa from time to time. I didn't ask you who you were. Awkward. It's quite rude to photograph someone without consent, one would think. <laughs> my bad, my bad. Well, I mainly photograph wild birds. They can't refuse, you see. <laughs> so what you're saying is... I'm the same as birds. Awesome. No, well, you see, that image of a young man in twilight was just picturesque. I apologize for trying to take your picture without asking. Adults are pretty slick. <laughs> All that annoyance I felt for being startled just flew away as he buttered me up. I had no intention of hanging around with this guy trying to get cozy with me, except it didn't seem like Reina would be back soon. But this older guy, Tomitaki-san, he didn't mind my cautious responses and continued rambling on by himself. Keichikun, sorry to keep you waiting. I'm finished now. Reina popped her head out from one of the lower piles of garbage and waved her hand. You have someone with you? What would she be doing over there? That's what I wanted to know. No, no. Maybe she's checking on that dismembered corpse that was out here long ago. Tomotake-san looked shaken up by that for a moment. Uh-oh, I responded like I would if I was talking to Reina and the others. Shit, about to get serious. It was quite a disturbing incident. They still haven't found one of the arms. I was just fucking with you, and now I know there's actually a body there. <laughs> Keichikun, sorry to keep you. You were waiting a while, I guess? I guess? I'd best leave you two lovebirds alone. <laughs> Again, my apologies for startling you, Keichikun. <laughs> and then he vanished. Whoosh. <gasps> Tomitaki-san chortled suggestively. Ooh, ooh. How does one chortle su- Ho 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 ho! Then disappeared into the twilight. <laughs> Missing my chance to retort put me off a bit. Keichikun, are you angry? Why, I wonder. I wonder. It wasn't Reina's fault, so I decided to just brush it off for now. How was it? Find a treasure trove? Oh, yes. So listen, um, you see, there was a Colonel Sanders doll. Colonel Sanders? What the fuck? A Colonel Sanders doll? Oh, that thing. Those statues they always have out in front of that fried chicken place. That life-size dummy? Yeah, Colonel Sanders. Oh, cute. I just want a ticket home. I couldn't tell how she decides what's cute or not, but, well, she seems to want it. It's garbage, right? No one would care if you just take it home, right? Mm, it's become the base of another pile. I can't dig it out easily. There's no lamppost over there, so it'll get pretty dark pretty soon. Raina seemed quite down about finding a treasure and not being able to bring it back. I'll help you out. To repay you for that delicious picnic you prepared today. Oh, thank you! Birds heading home to roost proclaimed that nightfall would soon be upon us. Keichikun is gonna help! I can take Colonel Sanders home, huh? Raina staggered along as if intoxicated in her dreamy state of mind. I tried asking her in a way that wouldn't take her out of her cheery state. Hey Raina, long ago did something happen here? It seems like they were building a dam here. I don't know the details though. <sighs> Just wondering if you knew about, you know, an incident or something? Well, you killed the music, Keijikun. Good fucking job. I don't know. Her tone was disturbingly frank. It sounded more like a denial than an answer. I must have appeared rather dumbstruck. Raina quickly lightened her expression. Actually, I didn't live here until a year ago. Huh? You transferred here too? I was sure that... So you see, I don't really know much about before that. Sorry! <laughs> Don't really know, don't really want to talk about it. That was the kind of feeling she gave me. Thinking about it, of course it would be like that. This wasn't the type of thing girls would enjoy talking about. That is sexist, okay? Mm. <laughs> it 
It was quite a disturbing incident. It seems they haven't been able to find one of the arms. If it's just like Tomotake-san said, then I had a feeling only the Higurashi would know. And they ain't talking. <laughs> End of scene. And cut. <laughs> Don't mind me. You have received new tips. Ooh. Ooh. Wait, wait, wait. Ooh. Alright, I wanna I wanna read at least this newspaper. I hope it's just a freaking newspaper and not like okay, thank God. June XX nineteen seventy nine. The Shishibone City Okinomiya police station. June something late at night. Suspects well were arrested on a suspicion of murder and improper disposal of a corpse. The main offender, blah, has been added to the wanted list nationwide. According to our sources, the six suspects were from the Hinamizawa Dam Construction Site workroom on the blah blah at 9 p.m., where they are suspected to have assaulted and murdered the site overseer, blah, as a group, dismembering his body and hiding it. On the bloth of 8 o'clock in the morning, a report was filed by Shishibone City Hospital in which a male suspect alluded to having murdered Mr. X. When questioned by the police station, the individual confessed to the crime. Since a portion of the body was recovered at the location he gave, he was arrested that afternoon on suspicion of murder and mutilation of a corpse. I didn't know mutilation was his own charge. The rest of the suspects were arrested the same day, but the main culprit is still at large. Police are currently on his trail. The motive is purported to be a drunken verbal dispute during which he killed the victim in a fit of anger. However, as there are multiple inconsistencies with their testimonies, the investigation is ongoing. Ooh. 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 <laughs> Oh god. It's gonna be a long segment, I think. I'm gonna kinda skip through this, I think. Alright, so it looks like everybody thinks that his house is huge and so he's loaded. And then they were then they summarize and basically say, oh well maybe they spent all their money on, you know, the house and now they're broke. <laughs> and he's like, no, we're just kind of average. And the reason the house is so big is because apparently his dad has his studio in there too. And his workshop. And so it's kind of a store slash gallery slash uh, workshop all in one. So it's huge. Alright, and then basically they all said, Oh god, I really want to go to Keiichi's house, you know. Maybe he has carpets. Oh my god, if he has carpets, I want to roll around on him. <laughs> and he was basically saying, Okay, well, I'm probably going to have to invite them over. And my dad is like a sucker for the ladies, so... Uh, he'll probably end up inviting them to like the studio and stuff, too. A Colonel Sanders? Of course! That's right up her alley! I understand her wanting to take home Satoko and Rika-chan, but I can't understand the Colonel Sanders. What's so great about that four-eyed geezer? Eh, probably better to hear it from Reina, don't you think? She'll probably just say, because it's so cute, though. Does Reina often go to the construction site to hunt for treasure? Every now and then, she says she's going to have a look. But a girl her age rummaging around in garbage as well. If Reina enjoys it, I think it's fine. What were they doing over there? Dam construction? It'd been bugging me since yesterday like an itch I couldn't scratch. <laughs> it was cancelled a long time ago. Everyone gathered together and fought against it. Hearing an ominous word like fought come from Rika-chan's mouth startled me. That's right. It was unbelievable. They said Hinamazawa would be sunk into the reservoir and we had no say in the matter. So I'm only able to be here because the protest succeeded. Whoa. Ah. 
I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I didn't keep you, did I? Did I? My deepest apologies, Keiichi-san. It took me a while to powder my nose. <sighs> Satoko, wait to use the can until you really have to go. It's a lot easier since it shoots right out. <laughs> How dare you speak that way to a maiden of unparalleled beauty such as myself? Who is she calling a maiden? If Satoko was really a maiden, she wouldn't have reacted like that. The usual hijinks ensued. Now then, gentlemen, in accordance with the rules of our society, I bring a point to discussion. He, Keiichi Maebara, wishes to be included as a member in our activities. What say you? Reina has no objection. Oh, ho, ho. Oh, ho, ho. I wonder if the likes of this peasant is up to the task. Me and Satoko both approve. <laughs> The three that Mion had queried voiced over their approval. A unanimous decision! Congratulations, Keiichi Maibara-kun! I present you with the honor of being allowed to take the entrance exam for our club! Uh, start from the beginning? I didn't say I would join! What club is this? What our club does, you see, in order to cope with our complicated society, we perform various activities under different sets of rules. Sometimes they are in your favor, and sometimes they work against you. I'm pretty weak, so I'd prefer if you didn't single me out. Let's just try to get along. <laughs> You're so naive, Reyna. The law of the jungle is survival of the fittest. This was starting to sound a bit sketchy, so what kind of club was it? To sum it up, it's a club where we play games together. Rika-chan was the only one to answer my question with a pertinent response. So basically, this club put Mion's hobby of collecting games to use by playing the various games that Mion had hoarded every day. It seemed that depending on the day, there were prizes for the winner or a penalty for persons who finished in last place. I think everybody in the world, like, collects something. I guess in this case, Mion collects games. Uh, I, I collect quite a few games as well, but I also collect, like, little figurines and blankets. <laughs> Lots of blankets. Um, and... I don't know, just like little knickknacks and things like that that I collect. I went through a stage where I collected baseball cards and stamps and coins, and I never really stuck to those very well. The baseball card collection I got got pretty damn big, but I, and I also like collect uh, Magic: The Gathering cards and stuff like that. I used to do those when I used to play the game, uh, but I have a lot of board games also. <laughs> What kind of stuff do you guys collect? Let me know in the comments below. I'm really curious to know because I th I have this theory that everybody collects something I'll make this clear right now. We aren't playing house here. You should treat each other win or loss as if your life depends on it. All right What's wrong with just having fun? Don't make it sound so crazy huh? First rule of our society. You don't talk about the rules of our society huh? Aim only for first place Going at it half ass just because it's a game is not allowed. Feels like I, I could be a part of this society. Rule number two of our society. For that reason, you're obligated to make all possible efforts. The way Satoko said it, it sounded like she was saying use any means necessary. <laughs> of course, I will do my best too. I'm pretty weak, but I'm trying my best. I knew what they were trying to say. In a game where everybody is aiming for the top, it's rather unsportsmanlike to play just for fun. Alright then. I, too, will go all out. With that, I was finally ready for the rite of initiation, my baptism into the club. A word of warning, Keiichi-chan. Reina can be pretty nasty. This initiation looks like it's going to be rough. Mion began fishing around in the student lockers at the back of the room. They have the games here at school? Well, it's club equipment, so I guess that's fine. <laughs> Complicated games with Pakeji at a disadvantage. So today, we'll play a game that you should be familiar with. How about a standard card game? Like, Old Bachelor? Is that like Old Maid? <laughs> Alright, let's do this. 
can't really get into it unless there's a penalty. This time, the loser will be sentenced to having their face drawn on. What do you think? Whoa, whoa! It won't be oil-based paint, right? Right? Oil-based face painting with oil-based face paint. That is perfect. Satoko cheered the idea on. She didn't even flinch at the thought of such a severe penalty. It seemed like she was raring to go. If it's going to be like this, then I can't lose either. Then I'll just cut the deck and start dealing. Old Bachelor is pretty much the same as Old Maid. There's only one difference. There's no Joker. In its place, one card is pulled out at the start, meaning there will be one card without a match left over at the end. You don't know which card will end up being the Joker. Oh, that's pretty cool. It's a pretty thrilling game. I'll take the card out now. Reyna took out one card and left it face down on the table. Everybody stared at the card intently. Well, it'll be pretty obvious in the end game. No way to tell at the start. But the rest of them were very serious. They didn't seem as relaxed as I was. They compared their cards to the one face down, all while gauging each other's reactions. It was as if they could see what the face down card was. No, it couldn't be. This deck is pretty worn out. No way. Can everyone tell by the scratches what the card on the table is? <laughs> Remember the second rule of our society. Keiichi must try his hardest to win as well. A number of cards are quite unique. Keiichi-kun should be able to remember them quickly. She said that so matter-of-factly. Suits me fine. Don't think a little thing like that could be your crutch. I lashed out angrily, but it was rather obvious I was at a disadvantage. After all, they'd gone so far as to memorize the wear and tear for each individual card. This wasn't a simple game of Old Bachelor. If this was a test, and they were playing with the answer sheet in front of them. Bring it. I'll take advantage of your carelessness and beat you at your own game. That baseless confidence would soon be crushed. <laughs> How about I tell you your hand starting from the right? Three, four, nine, jack, queen. By the way, the bachelor is the jack of diamonds. I can tell what they are even if you switch them around. I am out. Ugh. I thought I was prepared, but for it to be this brutal, just overwhelming. Demons, you're all demons. Reina, is it a demon? Are you? Sorry, Keiichi-kun. This is the three of hearts, isn't it? I'm out. Ugh! Not even a hint of mercy. Reina, even Rika-chan. These club activities weren't to be trifled with. An alumni of this club would definitely survive in the cruelest of situations. If our entire class had self-detonating collars strapped to their necks and were dropped in a death match on a deserted island, these guys would probably take to it like fish to water. Oh, man, that Battle Royale reference. I can already picture their joy as they hunt down each of their classmates. <laughs> it's the lowest point system. The order itself dictates the points. Whoever's the lowest point total wins. Since Keiichi finished last, he has five points. There's already a five marked down on my scoreboard. Huh? I think it's unfair to Keiichi Kun if we don't use a new deck. It's fine, it's fine. Keiichi Chan is a man after all. He could turn the tables even if the odds are stacked against him, right? It's fitting for a lowly peasant to scamper home to soak their pillow in tears, don't you think? A petite hand laid itself on top of my head, which was trembling from uncontainable frustration. Was Rika Chan's. Keep on fighting, yeah. Thanks to Rika Chan's words of encouragement, I was able to calm down. You need to be calm, especially when you're cornered. That's the power I could muster during this crisis. Think clearly, Keiichi Meibara. Take your time, look at the cards carefully. 
It's just as Rana said, each card has its own distinct markings that made them stand out. Memorizing them should be pretty simple. Think about what you can do in this situation. Try everything in your power to improve your chances for victory. These people are just cutthroat at this game. Oh, great, Kichika. Just like that. I covered the uniquely marked cards with my hands or other cards, arranging them in such a way they couldn't be seen. The one with the ripped corner should be the five. And I'm out. I couldn't let any of those precious hints slip by me. All information is a weapon. Then it was my turn. Satoko fanned out her cards for me. You see, I want the seven. Is it this one? I wonder about that. You won't know unless you take it. There was a bit of dismay though in her expression. Like she doesn't want it taken. That kind of expression? I won't let that momentary lap slip by me. I know. It's this one. Got it. Seven of spades. A cheer of ooh rang out. <laughs> what is this? The seven should be the hardest one of all to tell apart. It wasn't for memorize the markings. Those slight changes in their expression as I selected a card were enough. You gotta work on that pa 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 poka face, pa pa poka face. Can't hide it from me, Keiji-kun. This mark means it's the two of diamonds. What? She was startled by her own misread. Of course, everyone else was, too. Huh? It's rare that Mi-chan gets a card wrong. No. Keiji-chan. Could it be you? They told them apart by different marks. That mark was a nail scratch, so I put a new one on it. Are you saying he disguised it as a two of diamonds? Ha! What an impressive show of wit! Keiji landed a clean hit. Clap, 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 clap. <laughs> That's great, Keiji-kun! That was an incredible match, you know? You know? Having defeated the forerunner Mion, my brilliant battle left me ecstatic. But by total points, it was already set in stone that Mion would win and I would finish last. <laughs> I laughed haughtily, selecting the tone of my voice carefully to get on Mion's nerves. Well, I'm gonna end up the loser, but I'm satisfied with one-upping Mion in the end. <laughs> that should be the proverbial slap in the face to Mion, who was at the top already and ensured, vi ensured victory. Even if Keiji couldn't get first place in this round, he'll st uh, still end up being last place overall. Don't you hate that? Of course I do. Let's have a duel. One chance. If you win, then we'll swap first and last place. How about it? You up for it? She fell for it. A chance for an upset that wouldn't be possible without goading her into it. One chance, you say? Let me hear the rules. Mion discarded two cards from her hands and replaced one with the Joker that was on the table, then shuffled the resulting hand behind her back. The card in my right or the card in my left? If Keiichi-chan can guess which one is the Joker, then he wins. Hmm. When you turned around just now, you didn't pull out the Joker, did you? If you lose, I'll show the card in the other hand. That okay? The other three gulped nervously at this unexpected turn of the events. All right, you've got it. Mion grasped one card in each hand and thrust them out at me. First, I needed to inspect them closely. The card on the right had no distinguishing marks. I couldn't tell which one it was. Hmm. Which one, I wonder? Keiji-kun, be careful. Yeah, of course. This is my chance for a big comeback. Looking closely at the card on the left, I saw a little wear. It wasn't one I hadn't seen before. Ah, that card is... I didn't let that bit from Satoko slip by me. Mion clucked her tongue. I didn't recognize the mark on the left card from the small number that I had memorized. I don't know what the left card was, but I could tell from Satoko's reaction the card had already appeared in the game. Since it already appeared before, it meant it definitely wasn't the Joker. Oh, Keech Chad thinks it's the one on the right? Will you choose that one then? Will you? The left card definitely wasn't the Joker. 
If I could trust that theory, then I should have been able to clear the car to the right of the Joker, even without Mion's taunting. The one on the right was the most suspicious. But wasn't it a bit too rash to decide based solely on Satoko's reaction? More carefully. Ha! Huh, I remember now, that mark, the left card. No doubt about it, the Seven of Clubs. Hmm. It's the Seven of Clubs, I see. I've won. The car on the left was the Seven of Clubs, so that means the car on the right was the Joker. And then, just before my hand touched the right card, I froze. <laughs> I would expect no less from you. There's a wave of murmurs amongst the onlookers at my sudden halt, right before I confirmed the right card was my Joker. Huh? What could Keiichi san possibly be saying? I mean, the left one is. Shh! Oh, what makes you so certain that the right one isn't the Joker, Cage Chan? Mion let loose an unexpected question. Everyone else was baffled. I don't know what the car on the right could be, but I know the one on the left is the Seven of Clubs. Then, does that leave the right one as the Joker? One of them has to be the Joker, right? Yeah, one of those is the Joker, right? Keiichi has good intuition. Huh? Rik-chan, what do you mean by- So basically, the Seven of Clubs. I discarded that by matching it with Satoko's Seven of Spades earlier. Everyone's attention snapped to the discard pile at the same time. The truth of the matter couldn't be discerned from that sloppy pile. So that means, Mion pocketed one of the discarded cards, then aligned it over the left card. And that means... I see, I get it! This left card is being disguised at the Seven of Clubs, right? It was the first time since the start of the match that a shadow ran across Mion's expression, and I didn't let that slip by. Then, with a grand flourish, I declared it loudly. The Joker is the left one! It was an intense moment. That one second felt like an eternity for everyone there. Breaking that silence was the first one to speak was Mion. Being the first president of this club, I've been witness to a variety of performance, K Chan. Yours is the best. The best of the best of the best. That was probably the greatest compliment Mion could give. Mion accepted her defeat, dropping the cards from both hands. My comeback victory! Rika Chan placed her hand on my head and began petting it, congratulating me on my victory. Huh? Rika Chan is. Reina and Satoko gaped at us as if they had seen a ghost. What is it, Reina? Not as if I cheated or anything, right? So it's fair and square. Rika, only pet someone on the head to console them. Huh? What's the meaning of. At that moment, Reina let out a small shriek. You know, Kei-chan, I thought you'd read into it that far. <laughs> Everyone froze. No, it was just me. It was a gamble. If you had just jumped to conclusions like a little brat, then I would have lost. It was the answer everyone was certain about. Mion picked up the card from the losing hand. Kei-chan, you know, you should take pride in this loss. She turned it around. That was the card that proclaimed the victor of the stool. The card under the seven of clubs. Unbelievable. It was the two of diamonds. It was the setup behind the setup. If I just picked the right one without reading so deeply into it. I, Mion Sonazaki, as the club president, do accept Keiichi Maebara's membership into our club. <sighs> as I slumped to my knees dazed, everybody let out a round of applause for the excellent effort I gave despite my defeat. The match is now over. Today's victor is me, Mion Sonazaki, and our exalted loser is Keiichi Meibara. Everyone made a commotion, applauding cheerfully. I felt I was bested, but I was so soundly beaten that it uh, unexpectedly felt rather refreshing. When Mi-chan pulled that little trick behind her back, I got excited, thinking she's gonna do it again. When Kei... When Keiichi-san stopped for the moment before touching the correct card, I thought, he fell for it. 
He fell for it quite handedly. Huh? Hey, wait. All of them knew from the start and still got so excited so earnestly? Everyone got excited to make it more fun. You... You're all demons, you monsters! <laughs> now then, Kei-chan, it's time for your penalty. Since it's your first day participating, I'll go easy, okay? It'd be a problem if you refuse to come to school. The other three members held down my arms and shoulders firmly. Oh my. <laughs> Mion approached, licking her lips. Her right hand went to pull something out of her pocket. That's... A felt tip marker, and it's large and oil based. Okay, here we go. She took the cap off the marker and brought it slowly to my face while I was immobilized. No, no, no! I let out my death throes. <laughs> it's a bit of an exaggerated response, I think. Alright, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Give me that thumbs up if you did. Subscribe if you want more content. And hopefully I'll see you guys at 2 p.m. Central Standard today, Saturday, uh, over at twitch.tv forward slash roulette's play. All right. Bye, bye, bye.